All right, guys, back here another day. So I decided to go ahead and try actually the spot welding instead of doing with the plug weld. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked up a 120 volt uh, spot welder. I think that's gonna be the best look what I'm looking for because um, I haven't had good luck with my welder doing spot welds either. I get too much in there or I'm blowing holes through it. I'm thinking it's the welder or maybe it's because I'm only 110 volts through the house and it's not working too well. And another thing I want, I was waiting for to come in was this little magnet uh, copper for plugging holes. So I got this because I sent rocker, my rocker panels that I wanted to plug some of those holes because on the dots and 510s, there's a bottom trim piece that goes on it. I'm not gonna be using that. I don't want that bottom trim piece. So I wanted to get something like this to see if it gives me a better, uh, gives me a better way to plug those holes up. So I will probably uh, try this stuff out. Alright, give you a close up. You can see in the light, that's the back of it. Uh, front. A little bit of grinding, pretty flush. I think that'll come out good. Alright, we'll go ahead and put the rest of them now. Alright, here we go. I went ahead and I plugged one, two, three, four, and five. Went ahead and sanded them down, and I put some just uh, uh, epoxy primer on just to seal it up for now. Pretty flush. Uh, a few of them, still a little too probably cold for this paint, so I'm trying to get it to dry. But it's pretty flush. A little bit indent on one, but if, as you can see it around it a little bit, maybe hopefully you can see that. It's not completely, but I'm going to go back and have to re-sand everything. I just wanted to give all that taken care of and then I just shot some new weld through primer I used Eastwood before I I didn't have good luck with it with my welder so I wanted to try a new type of weld through primer see if that makes a difference I'm not using the Eastwood welder for this because I'm going to try to use, I'm use the spot welder but I put regular primer in the middle and I sprayed the top part and the bottom part here with this I had really good reviews got it off of Amazon so We'll see, hopefully it's better. We'll find out. On this side and the back side, put well through primer on the rocker panel just to make sure I get a good uh, connection with it. Uh, I'll make sure it does seal good. So I'm going to go with the clamp and just do spots all the way down it. I got measure about an inch and a half apart all the way down. Uh, sorry about the loud noise. My neighbor's having a uh, new drain put in their house. So I won't do too much talking. Just try to see how well this works out everything as tight as I possible and see how this thing's heavy so I don't know how well it's going to be able to hold it but we'll find out. All right <laughs> change of plans what I have to do first now. Uh, my support bar here is in the way so I can't get up and through here and do the pinch weld on it. So I'm going to get my regular welder out first uh, weld the spots up in through here a little bit and down here to strengthen it so I'll be able to remove this bar without having to worry about any issues. So let's do that first now.
All right, I have one time for my input on this. Um, overall, actually, I was pretty happy once I got used to it. Um, the beginning part, I did have issues. I did the bottom part of the rocker panel first. Get a close focus. Not too bad. I did burn through a, some of them, like right through there. It did go through the other side a tad bit. I was having issues trying to figure out why am I having issues with this. Uh, then, uh, like how this thing works, is you put put down, put focus on it, and then you hit this switch right here. And then uh, then you're supposed to hold it down for up to five seconds to uh, burn through. At the beginning, I was stupid. I was trying to hold this, tighten it first, then I'd hit the switch. That was stupid. When I got to the top part, I did do a lot better on some of them. And it took, still took me a while. Is you just line this thing up first, close it, get comfortable, then you hit the switch. One, two, three, up to five seconds. Um, certain areas, I, like on the inside, I do have well through primer. I don't know if I have some mixed in with some regular primer, though, too. It took longer to burn through. In other ones, it did not. So I am overall happy. I do got to go back, sand it, and I will just go and fill up a few of the holes I did blow through or I put too big of a gap in hole in two. But I mean, overall, I am actually quite happy. I went back through with uh, a file or something. And just push on each top part, make sure it all welded up, and it did. Same with the bottom. A few of them I had to go back through and we weld a couple times, two or three. I don't know, I was having issues. But big thing is you do want to file. These do get gunk up. And I noticed you get some of them you get more sparks and some you don't. The reason I see you get more sparks is when you're not completely like flush with it and it doesn't line up evenly. When you press to it, you put a little bit of weird angle on it, more pressure on one side there. That's what gives throws more sparks out at you. Um, so this you gotta be careful. You could easily start a fire with this thing from all the sparks and how heat and quick it heats up. Uh, but I, I was afraid of warpage maybe, but I know warpage. So that worked out really well. I was happy with that. So overall, yes, I think this was great. Uh, I, they don't have usually coupons for this one at Hard Freight. So I think it was 169 or 159. It usually never changes. Once in a while, they'll do a special on it, but it's, it's rare. Um, I, mean, I still got the other rock panel to do, and I still got other trim parts I need to do with it. So overall, yes, it's going to save me time, but it is exhausting. It is very heavy. It's holding it upside down and up. I mean, I had to take breaks in between. My shoulder's burning. I mean, if you if you work out a lot, maybe you don't have an issue, but uh, average Joe, it, it, you take break, uh, breaks. But overall, I think it helped me not blowing as many holes through. For me, just using my regular MIG welder, um, because my regular MIG welder, I had like weld up through here, because this is a thicker spot. A little bit higher crown, so that's going to require more grinding to compare to something like that right there. I did do try thicker three panels, and actually did weld through all three of these panels. I just had to hold it on for a little bit longer. So you could, I think this could easily do more than 220 pieces of gauge, probably up to like almost 218 pieces of uh Still, a gauge would work probably perfectly fine for it. So, all right, now since the rocker's pretty much weld in, I still gotta go through and finish some sp plug welding and a few other spots and then sand all this down. But so I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of sanding at one time. Might as well make the plate that covers redo the uh, A pillar. Uh, so, should go from here down and up cover this was already bent upward when you got it so you have to bend it down flush so i'm gonna go ahead and make a paper template for this and bend it out of steel
All right, here it is. Not completely welded in yet, but this is my second attempt. The first one didn't work out too well. This one looked a lot better. I was trying to make it only really one piece. I end up making it in two separate pieces, but I'm happy. A little bit of blow through here, but I can go fix that. I need a finisher. I left this side a little bit longer so I could butt this into it and then I could be able to tack it in a little bit better. Uh, down here though came pretty flush, so you just do a few more tacks up through here and then up in here and then cut a little piece out to weld that up, sand it flush. And then I can go ahead and went back through and started welding the rest of the little spots. So I need to go back through sand. I need to fix this though right here, blew a big hole through it. Those must be really rusty right in there. I didn't remember seeing that, but uh, but I'm not gonna show that. And go ahead and get all that done. Probably won't videotape me just sanding. That's just gonna be a pain in the butt. So all right guys, so uh thank you for watching this video. Like I'm trying to get them out quicker because a lot of people are in well quarantine and stuck at home. Kind of knows from my last video, it has actually one of the most views. <laughs> compared to my other ones in such a short amount of time. So I can tell a lot of people are bored. Uh, I also, this, so hey guys, like what you're watching, please give me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. You guys take it easy.